Ito na nga mga ka-Web3 crew. Grabe yung energy ko ha. Bukod sa ako yung nag-drive. Wow. Excited na akong kumaten ng World Blockchain Summit. Alam niyo ba kung saan kami pupunta? Siyempre hindi niyo alam kung saan, di ba? Hulaan niyo kung saan kami pupunta. Pupunta kami na! At Ladras! Kailangan natin mag-deplete, Char. <laughs> I drive on myself. I host myself. I... Mamaya, I cameraman myself. Ito na nga, makikita nyo na guys! Pasukin na natin! Pasukin na natin! Pasukin na natin ang tunnel ng Atlantis! Alam nyo naman po na ang Atlantis ay underwater hotel. Uwe! So, bunti tayo kasama yung mga sharks. Ha? Ano daw? Ha? Ito ko. Alam ko kayo sinasabi ko. This is so scary, ha? My name is Krista to Moons, and as always, I love you guys! To the moon, to the moon, roar! To the moon! Hindi nyo na kaya, nakakaloka. I'm sure, inggit na inggit kayo, or maingit ang maiinggit. Pero nandito tayo ngayon sa Malapalasyong! Wow! Atlantis lang naman ito. O, di ba? Hindi nyo kaya. Diyos ko! Dito lang naman sa world famous island ng Ponzumera para ma-witness ang spectacular No World Blockchain Summit 2023. This is a Web3 focused event at ang organizers ng event na ito work with industry leaders and innovators. Kaya samahan niyo ako makinig at makipag-network sa mga delegates nang tayo ay ma-inform with current market trends. Kahit wala kayo dito sa Dubai, ay nako, good news dahil yahatid namin ng mga exciting news and updates. Ora mismo, agad-agad yan. Kaya chill, relax. Parang ako, grabe yung pagre-relax ko dito. Ang hangin na, grabe. Siguradong malakas dapat ang inyong internet dahil eto na ang bagong episode ng FOMO! The Future of Money! Let's go! What na? Sorry. Ito na mga ka-Web3 crew, may nasago pa kong chika sa inyo. Alam nyo ba, sabi nila, in 5 to 6 years time, kung ikaw ay isang business at hindi ka part ng metaverse, naku po, mapag-iiwanan daw ang inyong business. O ba diba, nakakatakot yun? Gusto mo pa mapag-iwanan. Kaya kailangan ay always informed and involved sa mga changes in digital world. Huwag mapapahuli in one sure way para laging maging up-to-date sa mga usapang Web3 at Metaverse is to attend events like this. Ito nga ang World Blockchain Summit. Dito sa World Blockchain Summit, nagsama-sama ang mga entrepreneurs, investors, diplomats, at syempre, huh, hello, influencers like me. Wow! O diba, I influence myself to you? Yes! With my beauty, my brains, my body. Char! Seriously, kailangan natin maging seryoso, guys. Ito na, World Blockchain Summit is the world's longest-running blockchain and web 3 focus summit series. Since 2017, nagkaroon na ng 20 editions. Grabe yung 20 editions na yun, na Ang WBS in 10 countries. O, oh, di ba? Global. Global. Kaya bongga ang networking involve at deal flow platform para sa Web3 ecosystem. Kaya naman, do follow Pinoy Web3 YouTube account, Pinoy Web3 TV, para every week ay nakikita nyo ko. Ayaw nyo ba akong makita every week? Oh, at nakakasagap kayo of what's in the Web3.0 universe. Tara na! <laughs> 
Tara na. O, di ba? Let's watch the highlights of the World Blockchain Summit happening here in Atlantis. The Pong, Dubai! Alam niyo ba, ang vision ng Dubai ay maging global tech hub by attracting entrepreneurs, investors, and even crypto influencers. Sabi pa nga, ina-anticipate daw that by end of 2023, the Middle East blockchain market ay bubulusok sa tumataginting na 3.2 B. B as in billion! Billion dollars! Billion US dollars! Sabi ko na nga ba eh, ay nako, nasa tamang show ako, kaya naman every event that I cover, nakikinig talaga ako ng mabuti because the future is bright for Web3. Ito rin kaya ang paniniwala ng mga excited na attendees ng event today? Kaya alamin natin. Tara, let's go! 5, 4, 3, action myself. Mga ka-Web3 crew, eto na nga. Diyos ko, ang sarap-sarap sa pakiramdam dahil nakahanap na po kami ng kabayan dito sa event na to. At hindi lang yon hindi siya basta-bas ng kabayan dahil isa po siya sa mga speakers ng event na ito. Ganun lang naman sa kalala na sa aking kaliwa po ay si Sir Marvin. Hi, Sir Marvin! Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting me here. Uh, it's an honor. Very, I like your energy also. Galing, galing. It's my honor. I'm, I'm second honor. I'm second honor. I'm second honor. <laughs> my honor. <laughs> Can you tell us, oh, di ba nag-English ako, about your company uh, na you're working with? No, no, I'm, I'm a stock market investor oh. uh, for the past 16 years. Mm -hmm. And then I started crypto mga 2018 also. Uh, I was here... For another conference, I got I got invited. Then some of the people, some of the organizers saw that I was here. That they they invited me also to speak in this event as well. But um, I'm a big believer in this space. I'm a big believer in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all of the other game-changing technologies that's available also. So, um, uh, what are you looking forward to learning about the blockchain and Web3 from attending today's event? So I'm mainly looking at the case studies and the use cases. Because I think it's really important that you solve problems and think beyond the hype. Where's the real value? Where can we really make more revenue instead of just, hey, I'm doing an NFT sale and build a community? We've already seen a lot of financial institutions, banks, VC firms migrating to the Web3 industry because of the whole global uh, economic way that it can um, really help everyone. It's not like traditional firms where you can only be segmented to one area or one industry. Web3 is the total uh, economy, right? So I definitely think that we're going to see uh, once the, the whole price is and everything kind of um, stays turb non-turbulent, I think we'll be okay. Mga kabayan, nandito ako sa Sabay Ecoverse kung saan bago natin ipakilala ang kanilang representative, malalaman muna natin kung magkano ang aking bonus sa sweldong ito. Charot lang! <laughs> Wait lang ah, tingnan muna natin kung swerte ba ako or hindi. Ah! One five! Tumatangin din yung one five, di nyo kaya! Boss, alam mo na. Halika na, punta na natin si Julia. WBS uh, is uh, one of the biggest uh, crypto event. Uh, we attended uh, WBS in Bangkok as well uh, in December. We love this event because it's a great uh, Uh, platform for networking uh, leaders uh, like leaders of crypto and blockchain industry uh, and uh, like amazing web3 community is always here this was just amazing magnificent community a great network and so much great connections here and the atmosphere is so exciting 
Uh, I think as always, that was amazing. Uh, it's already, I think, nearly third or maybe f five times we're here. So, uh, World Blockchain Summit is always interesting and uh, uh, so amazing. So, I came here just to know more about the blockchain. How can we use it? And, and I'm having a great experience. I explored uh, each and every attendee, like the company who is here. And right now, what I'm thinking is like a blockchain is the future of our world. Dalila ma. O oh, diba? Kain lang ng kain. Ito na nga yung exciting part. Ready na kasi yung food nila. Charot! Ito na. Kahit nasa harap kayo ng inyong computer at relax na relax kayo na nanonood sa inyong mga bahay, nasaan man kayo parte ng mundo, watch lang weekly ng FOMO! Future of Money! Let's go! Kakain ako ulit. Bala kayo dyan, guys. Ano, eto na nga mga ka-Web3 crew, may tatanong ko lang pala sa inyo ha. Meron ba kayong ano, the one that got away? Or hindi kaya'y di sinasadyang bitawan sa buhay? I'm sure maraming makaka-relate. Eto na nga kasi, noong 2010, may isang crypto trader sa Florida na pinagbili ang kanyang Bitcoin ng dalawang pizza sa halagang 40 US Dollars. Grabe naman yung 40 US Dollars. Yun ang pinakaunang commercial transaction gamit ang Bitcoin in history. Ewan ko lang kung nakukuha pa niya ngayon maglunok ng pagkain na Nakakaloka kasi parang nag-flash ka lang ng 27,000 US Dollars sa toilet. Ah, ah, paalam na. Ang sakit ng tiyang ko. Parang kulang yung kinain ko. Kukuha pa nga ako doon. So, ito na nga mga kabayan, nakakaloka dahil nag-start na si Marvin. Tara, makinig na tayo, Philippine represents! Well, once we hit scale, once we hit massive adoption, it's similar just to how the internet is. So, if we believe that the internet is something that's changing our lives for the better, it's the same way of how crypto is gonna be. So proud, mga kabayan. Um, this is the GDP of the Philippines. Crypto is here to stay, and it's not a question whether people will use it or not. It's just a question of when. Crypto is just a form of technology. People see it as something that's volatile, which is true, because it's also liquid, which is true, and people can buy and sell it off exchanges. But what people don't see is that crypto and this entire Web3 NFT space is just technology. And if there's one thing I know about technology, this technology moves forward, it's not gonna go back. Mga ka Web3 crew, eto na ha, may tanong ako sa inyo. Up to what extent ang kaya nyong gawin for a Bitcoin? Kasi as of today, March 2023, ang price ng isang Bitcoin ay approximately 27,135 US dollars. Kaya nyo bang magbuwis buhay moves para sa halagang 203.51 million? Oh my God, grabe ang lala ha. Ito kasing si paring James Howells na taga Wales, United Kingdoms, United Kingdoms, United Kingdoms kasi. Noong 2013, meron siyang 7,500 Bitcoin sa kanyang hard drive. Kaso, tinapo niya nga yung hard drive niya. Ay nako, nung na-realize niya, nung pagbulusok ng presyo ng Bitcoin, hinanap niya ang kanyang hard drive. Ngayon, kinukumbinsi niya ang local city council niya na payagan siyang hukayin, hukayin ang mga landfills para mahanap niya ang nawawalang hard drive. So the point na inalok niya ng parte ng halaga ang city kung papayagan siyang maghukay. OMG paring James, ha, nakakaloka ka. Ilang landfills ba ang hukayin mo? Baka pwede mo kong isama. Basta persyento ako dyan ha. Alukayin mo ng todo.
Nakakaloka naman yun. Mga bagay-bagay na gano'n. Na vertigo ako, mama. Ay! Wait lang, para. Andito pala naman yung aking uh, powers. Hindi ko magano yung brain ko kapag wala to. Wait lang. Mr. Jihan, hello. Um, can you tell us about your company and what do you guys specialize on? Okay, so we started our journey a year ago. And uh, during that development process, we saw a huge interest of the market into metaverse, into education, into entertainment. We saw huge celebrities um, organize huge concerts uh, in the metaverse with 50 million visitors, with 20 million visitors. And we are exactly on this point. We want to organize, so we are focusing ourselves into education and entertainment. Uh, the World Blockchain Summit is a very interesting um, organization and a very interesting event. Um, I think you see a lot of high quality projects, a lot of high quality visitors here. And um, I recommend every crypto related project to um, take a look into this wonderful organization. It's, a, it's definitely worth it. For you, what is the future and your company in terms of technology? Uh, in terms of technology, we try to adapt the blockchain in our games as much as possible. We're aiming to use the AI and the blockchain in the way that for the players, this will bring a lot of new experience. Uh, for example, right now we use AI to produce a lot of artworks in our games, uh, including the 3D models, including the artworks and CGI inside our games. So are you guys um, accepting Bitcoins as a payment? Yeah, actually, uh, I'll tell you, I mean, it's all come under the smart contract. Uh, either it's Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other coin. Yes, I mean, uh, we shall be accepting all because we are what we are trying to do. We are trying to uh, connect from source to end user and eliminating the all intermediaries in terms of saving the cost and keep transparency. And uh, we understand the problem statement for the travelers. So this Riva Metaverse is not only a technology, it's also a blend of travel domain, travel legacy coming with technology. So we understand uh, the problem statement and we are coming with very unique product. And uh, yesterday only we had our first beta launch live here in Atlantis, Dubai in pre-launch party and uh, under the name of web3travels.com. What is the future for you and your company in terms of technology? Uh, we, be, we strongly believe that uh, we should focus on the metaverse part since this is like a trend, uh, like a booming trend, trend right now. So we believe we should we should try to you know um, to introduce uh, the NFT and uh, metaverse uh, this combination to traditional businesses. So for example, sports industry, uh, fashion, uh, re real estate, and tourism. Yeah, so we're building a Web3 game for the smartphone and we're, it's going to be eSports and we're onboarding users from Web2 to Web3. Yeah, this event was so fun. I met so many different kinds of people. I met people from Dubai, from China, from Singapore, from India. I'm probably the only person here from America. I mean, it's been so fun. I've never been here before. United Nations ata ang pinunta natin dito dahil iba't ibang lahi talaga nga naman. At dahil meron naman tayong isang friend all the way from Israel. His name is Alex. Hi, Alec. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, can you tell us about your company and what do you guys specialize on? Sure. By the way, I have amazing looking with the Bitcoin ears and everything. Um, I'm from Israel and my company, I'm founder of uh, AFB, it's AI for business. And we're consulting companies how integrate AI in their businesses because Today, you know, today we live in AI period, in period of revolution in the technology field, in our lives. And 2023, it will be revolutionary for technologies, for lives and for businesses. Hindi nyo kaya guys, di ba? My name is Krista and uh, I would like to uh, know more about your company and what do you guys specialize on? And of course your name! Yes. Hi everyone, my name is Tusk. I'm a founder and CEO of the project called DSERP. 
is a short name of Decentral Circle. So what we do is, this is a no-code platform for the user, anyone who wants to create membership-based NFT, mm -hmm. which means you can think this is like a Web3 version of crowdfunding platform like Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. That's the first half uh, by issuing the membership NFT. And then grant some benefits, accessibility to the, the buyer, the members, community members. So right now, a lot of communities are based on Discord or Telegram. But this platform, another half of the UTT, is that you can create token-gated contents, mm -hmm. which means the membership holders can get access to the, any of the contents that the project upload, mm -hmm. like video, images, and anything you like. So that's also another half is, you can think like a Web3 version of Patreon. Do you believe that crypto is a future of money? Yes, I do believe so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And naniniwala siya. At dahil dyan, dito po nagtatapos sa ang aming interview. Arigato! Arigato! Thank you so much. You were always gonna be my love. It's suka. Dari ka tumata ko Ikaw ba ay nagmamayari ng negosyo at gusto mong pumasok sa metaverse? Isa ka pang investor at gusto mong malaman kung ano ang projects ang magiging next big thing sa mundo? Interesado ka bang malaman ang latest government policies in Web3? Yan ang next namin ihatid kaya Web3 crew, tutok na! Tutok na? Tutok na? Tutok na? Sakay na! Nakakaloka mga kabayan dahil napapalibutan na naman po ako ng isang mga hindi lang isa kundi dalawang banyaga all the way from India, am I right? Yes. India, yes, I have right here uh, Punya and Vivek. And guys, can you tell me, uh, tell us our viewers about your business and company and what do you guys specialize on? We are Arna Protocol. We are an on-chain decentralized asset management protocol. We provide uh, intelligent and tokenized access to crypto and DeFi. We are here to explore more about the blockchain because uh, as we have seen that Web3 is developing nowadays and it's booming. Always remember, the smaller the risk, the smaller the reward. So, eto na nga mga ka-Web3 crew, mga kabayan, dahil... <laughs> Grabe, sobrang madugo na naman po ang ating interview dahil isa pong friend natin all the way from India. Dito tayo sa Nordex and their representative is Mr. Rajesh. Am I right, Mr. Rajesh? Can you tell us about your company and what do you guys specialize on? We are a blockchain-based company. Uh, we have presence in Dubai, Lithuania, in Cayman Island. Uh, we are coming up with a solution, a bunch of dApps. We have around blockchain, so we thought to come up with one unique solution specifically dedicated to payment industry which disrupt uh, the payment uh, and do the revolutions in a couple of days. See, I started my journey in 2014 when technologies was new and even bitcoins uh, don't have that much adoptions. But yeah, people want to learn where I have to buy, where I have to sell. So that was a new concept that time. But these days, if we found lots of cryptocurrency are in the market, but still there are problem and the pain points are the payment. So I believe come up with some solutions specifically into Web3 space and go ahead with some bunch of dApps. So I am happy to share my expertise here in Nordic. How do you see technology changing the way you live in the future? See, uh, in early days you see how technologies change our life. When we don't have phone, when we don't have Gmails, when we don't have emails. So I believe blockchain technologies have the revolutions because in the future everyone needs transparency and trust. So this technology plays an important role in everyday life. Like most countries adopt tech blockchain for land registries, for document verifications. So everyone needs transparency and trust. So I believe 
blockchain will create a revolution in couple of years and you'll see the presence. Mga kabayan, huwag kayong maloloka dahil kung kanina ay mga Indians ang mga kausap natin ngayon naman. We have a friend right here all the way from Netherlands and his name is Martin. Martin! Hello! Hello, Hello nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, can you tell us about your company and what do you guys specialize on? Uh, I'm, I'm founder and owner of Broken Egg. We are a Web3 agency focusing on consulting corporates and A-brands and uh, helping them going towards the Web3 space. So we don't only do the consulting, we also do the development of these projects. And uh, we just recently started a, uh, a joint venture here in uh, Dubai, mm -hmm. together with Cloud Primero. Um, so we're excited to take over the, the MENA region. Do you believe that businesses need to be Web3 ready to survive the future? Why or why not? Well, it's funny that you asked that question because uh, that's actually the core business uh, of our company. Um, our, our largest, our biggest comp uh, company that we're helping currently in Europe is uh, WebHelp. They have about more than 120,000 employees and they're the second largest uh, uh, calling center in the world. Mm -hmm. And we basically analyzed their business and we said, you know, if you want to stay up uh, ahead with this community-based uh, uh, economy, you're going to have to evolve and change with that. So now they're, for example, managing uh, the sandbox in the Discord, so the, managing this whole community, but also inside the metaverse itself. So when you enter the metaverse, mm -hmm. you have like a guy guiding you about how to use a sandbox. Those people uh, behind it are actually uh, uh, web help. Yeah. Do you think that um, crypto is a future of money? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I strongly believe that. I, uh, that's how I got into this space in 2017. Uh, funny enough, I, I sold back in the days three Ethereum's for $350 and a, a few years later uh, that could have been uh, about $12,000 but <laughs> yeah so but um, initially you know we get often asked as a consultancy firm you know where is this economy going what's happening around the world and um, we're telling people to you know keep an eye on this and when we sell collections for these clients we tell them to keep half of it in crypto and half of, of it to cash out to uh, finance the, the next project or the project itself. Mga ka Web3 crew! Oh, di ba? Bawal ako mag-ingay kasi syempre may mga kaganapan dito. Pero sana naman, marami siya yung natutunan sa World Blockchain Summit. At sana, it ignited the passion in all of you to seek new information and explore investment opportunities. Hindi nyo kaya nag english ako, di ba? Parang hindi bagay siya. At kagaya ng lagi kong sinasabi, huwag na huwag kayong titigil sa pag-research dahil knowledge is power. Before we finally end this episode, ah, yung hair ko talagang lumalaban siya, gusto kong ishare ang isang interesting quote mula kay Fred Eshram, isang American businessman and co-founder of Paradigm, isang cryptocurrency firm. Ang sabi niya, blockchain technology isn't just a more efficient way to settle securities. It will fundamentally change market structures and maybe even the architecture of the internet itself. Talaga naman, babaguhin ng Web3 ang paraan nating mamuhay, magtrabaho, magtransact, at ma-in-love. Hindi nyo kaya ang ma-in-love, Kenneman. <laughs> Sana sa pagsama nyo sa amin every week ay maging handa kayo sa mga palibagong sinasabi ni Fred. Until next week, Web3 Crew, I am Krista. See you all next week. Dito lang sa... Yung hair ko talaga. FOMO, the future of money. Fairness mainit siya. <laughs>
FOMO! The future of money!